Hello Earth Signs, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning into this segment. This is going to be a reading. We're going to be looking at the future of your current connection or the connection you have with someone. We all know who they are. Now, this can be for Taurus, Cap, Virgo, or if you're dealing with a Taurus, Cap, Virgo, or even if you have heavy Earth placement in your chart, this reading can be applicable for you. Some things may resonate, so stay tuned. Um, before I begin, I just wanted to say if you were after private reading please feel free to email i do have a few availabilities otherwise let's jump into the reading uh, and see what comes up let's try to channel the overall energy of signs the overall energy into the future of this connection where is this going what can you expect okay i feel like i want to take this card okay we've got the seven of pentacles straight away it makes me think that things are working in your favor here um you know what the word that comes to mind is something about celebration okay i don't know if some of you have a celebration coming up or you want to celebrate your love towards each other or it's a time of celebration in this connection but that sort of just came up then um okay let's channel this energy a lot of growth is taking place here a lot of growth and changes in the physical form so and this is very powerful. There is a meeting between the earthly and the spiritual. Um, the Seven of Pentacles says to me, the future of this connection, there's still a lot of unfinished business. Um, the Pentacles can represent memories, um, experiences, conversations, milestones that you are yet to achieve with this person. Seven is a number close to nine, so almost at completion. Doesn't mean that the relationship is being completed. It just means that there is still a journey in this connection. Um, there's still unfinished business and there's still lots of things you have to experience with this person. So this is fantastic. The fact that it's also a pentacle card show that things are in your favor. It could also indicate there's a lot of growth that's in the cards here for you. Um, for you, Earth signs. Okay, so there's a lot happening here for you in terms of how you grow and how you love and how how, how receptive you are to that connection as well. But um, let's see how how this applies. Okay, you're in a twin flame soulmate connection. Very nice here. The promise of a happily ever after is very powerful and very likely for you, Earth signs here. Okay, so your this connection, there's a lot of potential here, Earth signs. There's a lot of potential here um, for whatever it is that you're wanting. Whatever sort of commitment, whatever sort of relationship, whatever sort of future you're wanting, it's very likely that this could take place with this person. Um, but I feel like with the nine of wands and the five of wands, there's some there's some changes that need to happen. And these changes somehow I feel involve other people. Now, what makes what what I'm thinking of is that you now it could be you and, and, and how you connect with this person's friends or family, or it could be how they connect to your family and friends. There's a, there's a need for acceptance in, in those sorts of areas um, in order to make that re this, this relationship work or in order, in order for that growth to happen. Now, I don't know if it's in, in a sense where some of you need to grow up or some of you, your people need to grow up, you know, there, there's some sort of growing that needs to happen here. It could be like maturity, um, but I'm getting with the nine of ones and five of ones. There's been blocks here. There's been blocks and challenges. Um, there may be a betrayal in the works here, a parting of ways, or this is an old way of life dying. I'm getting a vibe that you're shedding your layers. You're shedding your skin, earth signs. And it's going to help move this relationship forward. I also feel like it's for your person as well. Now, I want to say for some of you earth signs, it's almost like you're going to give, be giving an out an ultimatum. Could even be a person. They may even betray you. Um, if they do, I feel like this is a strong message that you're going to walk away from that relationship because you're going to grow. Um, you're going to grow out of love or you're going to uh, grow up past maybe all the immature or all the hurtful things you've maybe doing to each other. Maybe you've experienced from them. Maybe they've experienced from you. Either way... Um, it says to me that you're going to 
walk away from that relationship if you have to because you will find that happily ever after look it's very likely it can happen with this person but the challenges i i wonder if these challenges you're either going to grow through them or you're going to just grow apart from this person that's that's the main things that are coming up i did mention sort of celebration and i do see that with the ten of cups so for a lot of you it will be a celebratory love and it will be a celebratory ending um, but it could even be like celebrating after a time of darkness and despair you know, if this person has been um, undergoing changes, overcoming addictions, um, changing up their life, making sacrifices for you, or maybe if you've done that for them, it's almost like there's a message here that you're going to celebrate those changes. Um, so it's either you're going to grow past it and celebrate it and enjoy this connection. But for some of you, there could be some hurt coming. But I also want to say there could be, you know, there could be some hurt that still exists. Um and the Four of Cups says to me, it's like it's going to come back in a very surprising way, maybe in a very unexpected way. This can, of course, rule pleasant and unpleasant surprises. Um, but I think for the most part, it's it's a message here that it's something you didn't really see coming. And when that's going to happen, I think it's going to throw you off guard a little bit, Earth Signs. But know that it's like the universe wants you to know it's an opportunity for you to grow. Okay, It's an opportunity for you to say to yourself, all right, can I forgive this person for what they did? Or can I stop cheating on them? Or... Can I stop hurting them or can I make them stop hurting me? Um, and it's not so much a test. It's more of what you're ready to handle and what you're not ready to handle um, individually as a spiritual entity. Um, also what they're ready to handle, what they're ready to do as well. But I get the vibe that it's more for you. I do. I get there's more growth happening on your end. Um, and I feel like this, the likelihood of that relationship reaching its potential is going to depend more on you, your decision, your growth, your tolerance, your respect. Um, you know what? All those things that you may or may not be ready for. And I think that's going to be very dependent on that connection. But it's likely that there's marriage, children moving in, um, settling down. These sorts of things are coming into the picture here. Um, there could be a disruption of some kind, an argument or a dysfunctional sort of um, group dynamic. So maybe not getting along with their friends or not getting along with their family. There may be opportunities, as I said, to sort of grow past that, you know, look past the petty stuff, um, tolerate a certain amount of energy maybe. Um, and I feel like I, I want to say they are opportunities because these opportunities may lead you into that initially, what I mentioned, celebratory energy. And like I said, I think it's reaching that potential with that person. Um, so yeah, a really interesting read. I feel for a lot of you, you are quite guarded with the Nine of Wands. You are protective over this person. It's very much a, a Twin Flame Soulmate vibe coming here. So this is, you know, very powerful. Um, but I do wish you the best Earth Signs. And I hope this reading does resonate in some capacity. Um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, of course, to get notifications for readings for your sign or for your element. Um, otherwise, I'm sure we will be in touch very, very soon. Thank you everyone so, so much for your love and support and viewership and um, keep an eye out on the channel. There's a lot more new content coming your way. Take care and bye for now.